Jack. Lisa and Scott, since the initial invasion, the war in Ukraine has been at the top of mind for Professor Matthew Kenenitz and his students who say their lives have been changed forever. Going back to Ukraine and kind of being there, it was different. Uh, people are more cautious. Matthew Kenenitz of Schuylkill County says the war in Ukraine has left its mark. Kenenitz, who was originally from Frackville, works as an English professor at Ukrainian Catholic University, where for the last two years, many of his students have now become part of the war effort. You know, people are tired. You know, these guys that have been fighting on the front lines have been fighting a lot longer than just two years. And, you know, if we stop, if we surrender, this is like, no, it's like everything that that, that was before, that happened before has no, no sense and no... Uh, no, no meaning. Student Mihailo Timo runs volunteer missions to many of Ukraine's hardest hit areas. As news of Russian forces gaining ground spreads, Timo says that Ukrainians are not deterred. There is a very cool saying in Ukrainian that being a Ukrainian is being in the constant state of approving your right to exist. For others like Timur Kresnitsky, the war has created a new kind of working class in Ukraine. The younger generation is now focused on manufacturing goods, growing food and technological advances. The war changes the perspective for many children uh, to uh, pursue uh, professions that will make us stronger uh, as a nation. As the fighting continues, all three men ask for continued support for a war they say is still very real. And it's certainly not that Ukrainians are vacationing, you know, in the Riviera on the money that, that America is sending over. This money, the supplies, it's not, you know, for leisure. It, it's to survive. For more on our conversation with Professor Kenenitz and his students about the ongoing war in Ukraine, head to our website, WNEP.com. Jack Colkin, Newswatch 16. Scott and Lisa, back to you.